Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about implementation of half subtractor using 4 by 1 multiplexer in digital electronics course, digital logic design course and switching TV and logic design course. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about implementation of full adder and full subtractor using 8 by 1 and 4 by 1 multiplexers. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasarao and go to the playlist called DLD ORR, STLD ORR, Digital Electronics Course. Now, in this video, how to implement half subtractor using 4 by 1 multiplexer. Before going to the implementation, first of all, we had to know about what is half subtractor. Half subtractor is a combinational circuit that is used for performing the subtraction operation between two bits. Half subtractor can take two inputs and it produces two outputs. The two inputs are X and Y and the two outputs are difference and borrow. Difference is denoted by capital D and borrow can be denoted by capital B. So these are the two outputs of the half subtractor. These are the two inputs of the half subtractor. How many number of inputs are there? There are two inputs. So that can be denoted by small n. n is nothing but number of inputs. With the two inputs, how many number of possible input combinations exist? That is a 2 power n number of possible input combinations are exist. That is 2 power n value is equal to 2. That are 4 possible input combinations are exist with the two input variables x and y. So starting from 0 and ending with the 3. That four possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Each and every possible input combination can be represented by using the main terms 0 to 3. Next, we have to find out the difference values and borrow values. To find out the difference and borrow values, we have to use these rules 0 minus 0. So, 0 minus 0 is nothing but 0. Next one, 0 minus 1 is nothing but 1 with borrow 1. 1 with borrow 1. Next one, 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. Next, 1 minus 1 that is equal to 0. So, these four rules we have to use to fill the difference column and borrow column. Next, 0 minus 0 is nothing but 0. Difference is 0 and borrow is 0. Next one, 0 minus 1 is nothing but 1 with borrow 1. Difference is 1 and borrow is 1. Next one, 1, 0. 1 minus 0 is nothing but 1, borrow is 0. Next one, 1 minus 1. So, difference is 0 and borrow is 0. Okay. Next, we have to, we have to represent the difference output and the borrow output in form of sum of min terms. Okay. Now, difference D is equal to sigma m of hmm. here in the difference column where the ones are present only that ones are considered the corresponding min term number we have to write here. In the difference column here one is there the corresponding min term number is one. Next here one is there the corresponding min term number is 2. Okay. 
only two ones are present. Next one, in the same way, we have to find out borrow. Borrow output can be represented in the form of sum of mean terms. Now, observe the borrow column. In that borrow column, where the ones are present. Here, one is present. The corresponding input combination is 0, 1 and the min term number is 1. Okay, so once we are mentioning the, once we are representing the difference output in terms of sum of min terms and borrow output in terms of sum of min terms. Okay, next one. So this uh, half subtracted truth table can be implemented by using 4 by 1 multiplexer. So this is the 4 by 1 multiplexer for difference output. This is the 4 by 1 multiplexer for borrow output. Okay. Now, as the name implies 4 by 1 multiplexer, it can take 4 inputs I0, I1, I2 and I3, one output that is D. 4 inputs and 1 output, hence the name 4 by 1 multiplexer. Next, this is the E can be called as a enable input or a control input. It can control the entire operation of the multiplexer. If E value is equal to 0, the multiplexer does not perform its operation. If E value is equal to 1, the multiplexer can perform its operation. Next one, among that 4 inputs, at a time only one input is selected. Whatever the input is selected, that can be sended as the output. Among the four inputs, how only one input is selected? By using the selection lines. Okay. Now, number of selection lines required. Number of selection lines required in 4 by 1 multiplexer. That can be calculated. 4 by 1 multiplexer can be represented in the form of 2 power n into 1. So here 4 can be written in the form of 2 power 2 into 1. So here in the power n value is there. n value is nothing but 2. So n is nothing but number of selection lines. n is nothing but here number of selection lines. How many number of selection lines are there? Two selection lines that are S1 and S0 are the selection lines. Are the selection lines. Okay. Now, S1 selection line can be assigned to input variable x and a s not selection line can be assigned to input variable y. Okay. So here we have to know one condition whenever number of input variables is equal to the number of selection lines. Here number of input variables equal to 2 that is x and y. Number of selection input lines is also 2 that is s1 and s0. Whenever number of input variables is equal to the number of selection input lines then so input variable x can be assigned to the selection variable s1. Next input variable y can be assigned to the selection variable s0. So here we have to write this is S1 and S0. This is also S1 and S0. So input variable X can be assigned to the selection variable S1. Input variable Y can be assigned to the selection input line that is S0. Now, Next, once we are uh, assigning the selection input variables, now we have to find out 
I0, I1, I2, I3 values in 4 by 1 multiplexer. Okay, to find out the I0, I1, I2, I3 values, okay, we have to observe this difference output. In the difference output, whatever the min terms are present, that min terms can be mapped to the I0, I1, I2, I3 input values. Min term 1 in the difference output can be mapped to I1 input, then its value is 1 can be assigned to the input variable I1. That means whatever the inputs, whatever the min terms that are present in the difference output, that min terms can be mapped to the map it to the I1 and I2 values. So, at that time, we have to allocate one can be assigned to I1 and one can be assigned to I2. For the remind, whatever the min terms that are not present in the difference output, for that min terms, for that inputs, we have to give a zero value. Okay. So, this is one procedure. So, in the difference output, identify what are the min terms that are present. Here min term 1 is present. So min term 1 can be mapped to I1 input value. So after mapping, we are assigning value 1 to the input variable I1. Because only min term 1 and min term 2 are present in the difference output. Next one min term 2 can be mapped to the input variable i2. So then value 1 can be assigned to the input variable i2. Whatever the min terms that are not present in the difference output, for that min terms, okay, we are assigning the value 0. Okay, otherwise we have to use another procedure. This is one procedure. Another procedure is simply we are assigning 0 value to I0, 1 value to I1, 1 value to I2 and 0 value to I3. Whatever the uh, output values in the difference column, that output values can be directly assigned to the input variables I0 to I3. Okay. Next one. In the same way, whatever the in whatever the output values in the difference borrow output, okay, that values are directly assigned to the multiplexer that are present for borrow output. So, 0 can be assigned to I0, 1 can be assigned to I1, 0 can be assigned to I2, 0 can be assigned to I3. Next, another procedure is for giving the input values I0 to I3, observe the borrow, borrow output. In the borrow output, only one min term is present. So, that min term 1 can be mapped to the I1. Next value 1 can be assigned to the I1. For the remaining input variables, we are assigning the value 0 because the remaining min terms are not present. Only min term 1 is present that can be mapped to the input variable I1. Then we are assigning the value 1. Whatever the min terms that are not present, we are assigning the value 0 to I0, I2 and I3 output. Okay. Next, here 0 x and y input x and y selection input values are 0 0 i0 input is selected that can be sended as the output x and y values are 0 1 i1 input is selected that can be sended as the output x and y values are 1 0 the equivalent decimal value is 2 i2 input is selected that can be sended as the output x and y values are 1 1 the equivalent decimal value is a 3. I3 input is selected that can be sended as the output. Okay. So, in this way, we have to implement half subtractor using 4 by 1 multiplexer. So, this is the 4 by 1 multiplexer implementation for half subtractor for difference output. This is the borrow output for implementing half subtractor in by using 4 by 1 multiplexer. Okay, so thank you.
thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button after subscribing my youtube channel so divela srinivasara please click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts please forward this videos to your friends and classmates don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel the remaining videos can be obtained from the playlist called dld orr stld orr digital electronics course so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video